Upon completion of this week, students will begin the presentation phase of our project. Students will construct a three-dimensional model of the site. The assignment is a site model. I would suggest listening to this entire voice thread once before attempting to make the model. The model shell should have a removable tray. First, I will describe how to construct the shell out of foam core. Then, I will describe how to construct the tray. The model shell will be constructed out of 8 inch foam core. The shell should include the site as well as the immediate surrounding buildings. It should be at 1 inch equals 10 feet scale. You will need a copy of the site plan, a sheet of foam core, a utility knife with blades, a metal ruler, and paper cement or rubber cement. This is the site plan. Along the top is Arrow Street. Along the bottom is Mount Auburn Street. The plan is at 1 inch equals 10 feet scale. I was not able to mail the plans this semester, so there is a digital copy of the site plan in your resources page. Please take it to a copy shop and have it made full scale. It will be very approximately two feet by two feet, but that will give you an idea. And when you measure the width of the site, the actual site, which is here, this dimension from here to here will be approximately 10 inches. And this dimension from here to here will be approximately 15 inches. That's very approximate, but you'll get an idea if, you've, if you're way off scale, it will be something drastically different. We're going to take a break from model building briefly to be sure that you understand the idea of scale. If one inch equals 10 feet, as in our scale on this site, how wide is the site and how long? You should, you'll find that the site is about 100 feet wide and about 100 feet long. Now let's assume that a one-story building is 10 feet. How tall will that be in our model? It will be one inch. A two-story building will be two inches tall. If you look at the site plan, you'll see that Arrow Street is 35 feet above sea level and Mount Auburn Street is 25 feet above sea level. So there's a 10 foot grade change. And 10 feet at our scale is one inch. So one inch of our site is 10 feet taller than the other. First, we will use strips of foam core to build up the sidewalk only on the Arrow Street side. The strip should be about two inches wide to accommodate the sidewalk and a little bit of the street. Use the paper cement to pile them up, about four or five of them. You should measure to get one inch, which will be 10 feet. First, use the paper cement to glue the site plan onto the foam core. Make sure you have an extra copy of the site plan so that you can use it for later. The best way to use the paper cement is to put some on each side, especially the corners and the edges, so some on the site plan on the back and some on the foam core. Give them a minute or two to dry and then you can stick them together. Now it's time to construct the buildings. So if a building is two stories tall, first cut a strip of foam core to the correct height, which would be two inches. Then measure the length of the sides of the buildings and just score the foam core or cut it about halfway so that you can bend it around to make the square of the building. You do not need to construct the roofs of the buildings, just the four walls. If the building is on the Arrow Street side of the site, add a story to make up for the 10 foot height difference where the sidewalk is 10 feet taller.
Once the shell is finished, we'll make the tray. So the shell is made of the buildings made out of foam core on top of the site with the Arrow Street side built up one inch or 10 feet. So once the shell is finished, we'll make the tray. The tray is made out of chipboard Here's an image of chipboard. It is just cardboard that's not corrugated in the center. You'll see it. Um, boxes are made out of this, like gift boxes or shirts are wrapped around it at the dry cleaner. You can get it at the art store. I would suggest s somewhere between a sixteenth inch or an eighth inch. Eighth inch is hard to cut. Sixteenth inch should be about right. might be a little bit flimsy. Now you will be using the clay. This is the clay that you need to buy, Roma Plastilina, number one, which is the softest. It's very hard to work with, and anything harder than number one will be really hard to work with. You can get this at any art store. You can buy it online. You'll need about three blocks of it. Then you will fill the chipboard with clay. It needs to be 10 feet tall on one side, that's one inch, down to zero inches on the other side, so it will be like a wedge. And When you slide it into the foam core, the higher edge will be facing Arrow Street and will meet Arrow Street, and the lower edge will be facing Mount Auburn Street. You just work the clay as shown in this picture, and then massage it onto the tray. You cannot fill the clay tray with foam core and then just put a thin coat of clay over the top. It needs to be all the way, the wedge needs to be all the way filled with clay. We'll be digging in the clay and sculpting it in our next class. So here's an image of the clay tray removed from the model shell, and you can see that the wedge is that one inch higher on the side that we're looking at, goes down all the way flush with the chipboard on the other side. And you just use your hands to massage it into that flat shape. And when you're done, it should look like this. This is all that's due for this week. You can upload images onto your voice thread and tell me all about it.